Hello everyone, welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to see how to export and import items into Talent Studio. We're going to see how to collaborate if we had to export items, if we had to import items into Talent Studio, how do we go about doing that? That said, we're switching over to a Talent Studio environment. Uh, typically in Talent Studio, we can come in and we can create jobs. Now, today's video is going to talk about how to export and import items if say you had one developer working on a project and another developer needed to work on that project i could potentially i could potentially export uh, some items from my repository and share it over to a different developer and they can take uh they can use that now that's not the ideal way to export or to collaborate uh it's just an option available it's not the ideal way the ideal way would be to use git and i've made some videos about how git and talent does integrate so check out those, the video on my channel uh for git integration with talent all right that's really the best practice uh enterprise ready software development lifecycle practice that we should have uh, the integration into git now if we are not integrating into git and we really wanted to just get something ad hoc and just get away with it all right we can certainly export and import items and that's what this video is going to show here uh, today so the very first thing we're going to do is i do have um, i'm in my repository area i do have a couple of jobs which we've been kind of looking at all right so uh say i wanted to export uh share you know with a colleague or to share with uh, uh with somebody else uh this demo job all right like i mentioned ideally this should be uh, integrating into git but if that's not an option uh we can go ahead and we can right click and talent does give us the ability to export items all right so it does give us the ability to export items so i can go ahead and right click to export items and from here i can select I, because in this case, I want to export items as a JAR file. So I don't want to just put a root directory. That would export just the actual uh, code itself, but not the JAR file. So I want to export the archives. All right. So that you can imagine this being a zip file. Somebody can take the zip file and import it into their own environment. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, archive file. Right. And then we can give it a name. So because, because I selected export from this, it's going to export this particular job. But what if I wanted to export multiple jobs, all right? I can go ahead and do it at the higher level. So export items. Then that way, it's not just exporting that uh, individual job. It's going to export everything under that tree, all right? So now you can see that every single job that I have has been selected to be exported, all right? So if I went in here and exported at the folder level, everything at that folder level now gets selected to be exported so the ones be, be, uh, above are not selected to be exported so depending on the, the level at which you're doing your export uh, just make sure you you're selecting that from the right location all right so uh, let's export um, let's go ahead and export uh, just one job just so we're not doing a lot of export so i can select what i want so i have this single job here that uh, needs to be exported again we're doing archive file and let's give it a name uh, um, tutorials export A. All right. So that's the name. Now, one thing that we need, and this is uh, especially important with doing our export, is we need to decide if we want to export dependencies or not. All right, because this job does use some database connection. It does use some routines. It uses uh, it uses uh, maybe potentially context variables. All right. And so we have to decide, do I want my connections, my database connections to be exported as part of this job or not? Do I want my routines to be exported as part of this job or not? All right. And so depending on what we decide for that, we can, we can choose. So let's say I choose this. All right. This I uh, included two jobs to export and I went below. Now I do have this uh, database connection. All right. If I uh, wanted to export the connection, as well because without the connection you really cannot run the job so there might be scenarios where you want that connection to go along with it so in that case i will select export dependencies all right so at that point now you see this is automatically selected my connection is automatically selected so talent knows what are the dependencies i need to run this job and then it's going to include that as part of the export we got to be very careful with this because not in every scenario do we need to export our connections or, or other dependencies all right so maybe you want to export some dependencies but not others all right so you might always want to come to verify that if i scroll down i think that was the only dependency that we had in there 
Um, did I have any other dependency? Yep. So there was this dependency of the get random phone number, which was a code. So that automatically got selected. Assuming I didn't want to include that, I can choose to say, all right, no, I don't want my database to be my database connection to be exported. And now I would simply uncheck that. Now, once I have that uh, set up as such, what I'll do is uh, simply to uh, let's make sure that uh, we're exporting this to a location that we we want. Let me bring this to my screen. Uh, let me find a good location for this. Darling Tutorials. So we're going to put it in this location here. All right. That's the location that I want, this particular location. And that's the name that I want to give it to. All right. So it's going to export to that location. Okay. So the zip file will be in that location. So we'll go ahead and finish. Now, if I go back and I browse on my desktop and uh, let's go back into uh, the desktop here for a second. Now, you can see I do have that export here, so you can put this wherever. So if I had to send this say, to a team member somewhere else that needed to work on this, I can export this, uh, send them this uh, zip file. Once they have it, they can import it back into their studio and they will have all those jobs. Now, how do they go ahead and import this into their studio? The same process. All right. So I'm simply going to come back in here. You will notice that there'll be duplicates because I'm importing into the same repository, right? Ideally, you're going to be importing into a repository where it doesn't exist already. But let's just do this for the sake of uh, the demonstration. So in here, I'm going to come back and I'll do import. Now I can go ahead and select uh, not the root directory, I want to select archive file. So from here, I can browse uh, to that archive file location. That's where I want that. I'll select that. Okay. So you notice it's giving me some warnings. All right. So it's telling me, well, it's noticed that the, this uh, there are duplicates, right? This item already exists because I'm just doing export import into the same uh, repository. So it's noticing that those items already exist and I can choose, do I want to really force and continue with this or do I want to just not do it, right? Sometimes you may realize that you're trying to import something that already exists and then you stop doing that. Okay. So in this case, I can say override existing items. Remember, whenever we're overriding anything, we always have to be careful. We always have to be careful, um, you know, and because you can really override things that you don't want to override. So uh, use your best judgment uh, as you're working with that. All right. So in this case, I will overwrite existing items. And now I can select to, uh, this to say I want to import every single thing by selecting that. Or I can go in and sp specify the specific items I want to import. Maybe just this job needs to be imported. And along with that routine, I can select that. All right. Or I can select everything to be imported. So assuming that we want to select everything to be imported, I will do that. Go ahead and click finish. But one other thing to call out before we leave the screen is we can also import items from Talent Exchange. Now, if you're not familiar with Talent Exchange, is the open source uh, community where uh, developers can share code and, and, and interact as such. I'll make a separate video. There should be a separate video specific to Talent Exchange. So if there's something there that you wanted to bring into your studio, that's an option. And that's why you have that in there. Now, going back to the import here that we have, I'll go ahead, click finish. It's going to go through, do my import. Uh, nothing seems like it's, it's changed, but the import has actually happened, right? It's overwritten what I had here before. And so that's how now I can have my jobs imported into my new uh, environment. So now I can have my jobs imported into my new environment. And that's true for jobs. It's true for the metadata. It's true for connections. It's true for whatever artifacts we're building uh, within our talent environment. So just to recap, how do we export, how to export and import items into Talent Studio? We've just gone through the exercise to see how that can be done. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, this is really just a stopgap approach. The better approach, especially when we're talking about a collaboration uh, for a software team that many people are working on projects, you might have a team of 5, 10, 100 developers that are all maybe working and building projects. The right way to collaborate would not be to build artifacts, export them, and somebody importing it. That's just too manual. There's too much risk. And, you know, th that, that would not be the right way to go. So in that case, we're going to be using Git and integrating with a source, uh, source code management. Uh, in that case, Git or SVN. Git really is the de facto standard now. That's what we'll be using. But if we just had this very unique situation of exporting and importing items, 
we can certainly do that and that's what we just did here as a demonstration example all right guys i hope this was helpful i hope this was helpful we've seen how to export and import items into talent studio if you have any questions or any comments don't hesitate to let me know go down into the comment section below uh, uh, write out your comments, write out your questions. I'll be more than happy to review, uh, to maybe make further videos or to maybe answer the questions directly. Thanks for watching through here. I will see you in the next video.